as we celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month, we're introducing you to a group of women who are changing the game of golf. Yeah, they've started a league to introduce more Latinas to the game. Alores Duarte has the story. Well, for decades, the game of golf has been known to create networking opportunities for men. It's a place where deals are made and long friendships developed, but it hasn't always been where you find women, and even less likely, Latinas. Rolling into the course, a group of women with a game plan. Where did yours go? Yours went over here too. Yeah. Right? For the future of golf. Awesome. Every time we gather, there's always a new face, and there's a new dialogue and a new conversations, and and now it seems like one lady said it's like a retreat. Everybody's on the same level. Leading the team, Marta Estela Tobias. Entrepreneur by trade over 20 years. In Illinois, she started the Ladies International Golf Association, or Liga, meant to support women who see the advantages of the game and want to play. During COVID, as you know, when the world was paralyzed, you know, there was no networking. And that's when I started with three ladies. Now there are 125 women, mostly Latinas, meeting Wednesday nights at Village Links to learn and play a traditionally male-dominated game as a way to build business. Having the opportunity to meet um, board of directors, uh, corporate people from C-suites, law firms, and commercial bankers nationally wide. It's mine. Hey. They say oftentimes it's on the golf course where deals are made and they want to be a part of it by networking on the course. And I would say maybe you can step back like a couple inches with your feet. But you do have to know how to play. Last year, the number of women teeing it up soared to more than 6 million, an all-time high. The numbers aren't the same for Latinas, though. It's definitely um, on the expensive side to play golf. And also, too, it takes uh, a lot of time to, to practice, to uh, build skill and technique. They think reshaping the picture of golf could make a difference for a fast-growing sector of the economy since there are more than 2 million Latina-owned businesses in the U.S. It definitely has helped my business to be part of um, those conversations. They're doing business with each other and they're referring clients, they're, they're helping each other grow, they give themselves ideas. And other cities are pushing the concept of getting more Latinas to play golf. In Los Angeles, for example, the Latina Golfers Association now has more than 2,000 members with the hashtag Latina Golfers making the rounds. Most people um, grip the club way too tight. Back here in the Chicago area, it's a circle of women working toward an easy swing, learning the game and getting good at it. Nice. There are going to be days that you play really well and days that you can't hit the ball. So it, it's fun. It's a fun sport, um, but it also gives you confidence, I think, in, in every aspect of your life. As the sun sets on a day of golf, they toast their effort, not just in business, but on the course. It's definitely grown organically, so I think if we continue that success, um, we can help more ladies enjoy the game as well. And the league is getting so much attention that this month some of them traveled to Mexico to play with Lorena Ochoa, who recently was inducted into the World Golf Hall of Fame. Celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month, I'm Lourdes Duarte, WGN News.